Hello there, and welcome to Daniel Mills' vlogging experience with the National Youth Orchestra of Canada. Today I have a very, very special guest, Maestro Jonathan Darlington. Hello. Hi. I will be asking him a few questions. Let's see, see what he answers. What has it been like working with young musicians? Fantastic. It's been a, an absolutely amazing experience. I haven't done, I haven't worked with young musicians like this for a few years now. The last time I did it was, it was an opera. It was the Albra Centre in, in England. But I haven't, I haven't worked with young musicians uh, for, for a while. It's been great. What has been your favourite part about working with this orchestra? Oh, well, that's difficult. There have been lots of, lots of favourite things. The fact that there's, a, there's been somehow a sort of confidence that's been built up obviously between, uh, between you know, you all, between the, the students, if I call that, and, and myself, I think there's some kind of chemistry that's going on which is really, really special. Those of you watching probably don't know this, but the Meister has been travelling with his family on this tour. How has that experience been? It's been great fun. I think they've, they've really enjoyed it. My wife's been with me, my second eldest son has been with me, and my youngest son um, has been with us. You know, usually I'm on my own so much, you know, when you're, when you're um, doing this profession. It's really a very lonely profession because you're alone in hotel rooms, you're alone in the sense that, you know, there's the orchestra, but then there's the conductor, and these two worlds often, often collide. And so to have some members of the family with you, it's been great. How do you personally prepare for a rehearsal? Depends what sort of stage we've got to. Uh, like this, this end stage of, of the whole process, you know, I'm trying to dig deeper. Pretty well all the basics are there now. Everybody knows what they have to do, even if sometimes it doesn't come out quite as everybody wants it. But now it's a question of really digging further into these pieces, which, uh, you know, we could sp you could spend a lifetime on just a couple of these pieces. The very first rehearsals, then you have to, you, you do things in a different way, and then gradually as it goes along, and depending on the experience that the orchestra has playing with playing the piece and in different halls and sorts of things, you have to work in a slightly different way. I never calculate before exactly what I'm going to do. It depends very much on, on where we've got to. Uh, Maestro is the, currently the conductor of Vancouver Opera. My next question is, how does preparing an opera differ from preparing a symphony in this context? Uh, an opera is a completely different way of, of getting things together because you, know, you start the process with the singers and the pianist. And then there's a whole business of putting them learning the staging. And so the conductor is usually there with the pianist. And so you have perhaps three or even four weeks, depending on how complicated it is, just, just working with the singers. And usually the working process with the orchestra is pretty fast. You have two or three readings. The, the, the symphony concert is, is a bit of a luxury, really, because you know, they're all focused on you, whereas the singers are focused on all sorts of other things at the same time, so it's a different ball game. Yeah. If you can, I think if you can conduct opera, you can conduct practically anything, because there's so many different things you have to be able to control. Is there a particular composer or piece of music that you relate to, or that you really enjoy working on? It's usually the ones I'm working on at the, <laughs> at the time, you know, I mean, you've got the, the Strauss, uh, Rosenkavalier Suite, and, and Mahler Fifth, and Shostakovich Fifteen, you know, there are three pieces there which you know, it's fantastic to be able to do them. And when I'm doing a piece, that's the one that's most special to me at that particular moment. Now that the tour is almost over, what what's on store for you in the next year? Oh well, well, I go straight back, and in a couple of weeks' time, I'm in back in Dresden with the Staatskapelle doing a production of Fortwald Street Scene. Then it's Montreux Festival with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra in London. And then it's to Geneva with the Suisse Romande to do Fjord, so abduction, right? Then I go to Sydney to do Magic Flute. That takes me up to the end of the year. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. Um, you take then, me with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what advice do you have for those young musicians out there that want want to make a successful career out of this? Oh, um, I was once a masterclass, very famous <laughs> instrumentalist. And somebody asked him exactly that question. And I've never forgotten the answer, and I think it's the right answer. He said, never give up. There'll be, there'll be all sorts of thorns along the way that will sort of get stuck in your feet. But uh, the thing is, never, ever lose that sort of inner fire. All right, one final very tricky question. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite color? Yellow. Oh. Well, thank you very much. Thanks very much. Well, it's great. It's yeah. And, and shake. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'd just like to say at the end you, that the orchestra is full of 
incredible talent. Uh, no, there, there's an awful lot of really wonderful talent in this orchestra, and it's been fantastic. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. It's well, been pleasure. a pleasure as well yeah. on my end. And, uh, thank so, you. see you again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>